<laughs> hey world guys, it's Fisher and welcome back. It's been a couple of days now and I just took a few days off from doing this because I was really busy with IRL stuff and just didn't really have time to bring you any Shogun but I apologise and I am back. But I also bring you some bad news as, uh, bad news as well. I'm actually going away on rugby tour uh, to Belgium for about a week um, tomorrow so you probably won't be actually getting any content for a week which I do apologise but as soon as, I back, uh, as soon as I am back even I will be pumping out the content once again so please make sure you stick around for that um but yeah let's get back into this whilst um i am still around and uh we're, we're, where we left off last what were we doing we we're fighting a war up here weren't we let's just have a look one more turn till the beauty which is the warrior class is built which will be awesome can't wait for that um our income's taking quite a dive actually looking at it which isn't great but um nonetheless i think it's because we have quite a few troops just chilling around like these the troops are here to keep the peace um and they, they are needed to be here most certainly, but it is a bit annoying that I have to keep that many troops everywhere. And this province is currently exempt, um, I guess, whilst everything's rebuilding to keep them happy. Yeah, they're not happy enough to uh, withdraw this. This is make them too, minus too happy. Gives me a bit of money though if I can do it. Uh, we also have this full stack army out here. And um, something I was really glad that you guys said is you guys were saying how I should uh, keep my cannon fire up and keep on using my cannons because it's awesome. So I'm glad you guys said that, otherwise I would have been screwed. There would just be overwhelming numbers. So that, that is very good. I'm happy. Um, yeah, I'm very happy that you guys said I could do that. That's going to save me during this campaign. It means we can do it on very hard. You bastards, I knew you were going to do that. But I'm just not quite strong enough to go out and meet you yet, I don't think. Especially when they back off as well, it doesn't really help. I guess they're reforming into two armies, which is, I guess, fine with me. I need to have another army up here, but I think I'm building one just below um, Harima. Uh, Mission aborted. What? Oh, did someone take it? Oh, nice. They're pushing in. Yeah, this is their last actual city now, so that would be very good if I can take that. I mean, I've got a small army here. What we got here, just some riflemen. I don't actually have a general here, which is a bit annoying. But we, I, think, I think these riflemen can do the job. Yeah, let's start moving them up. I mean, I think I'm building some cannons here. Yeah, I'm building some Armstrong guns here. They can be moved up slowly. They're going to take fucking ever. Um, oh, yeah, I just remembered what went down. Hello. There she is. Look at her. <laughs> Try to scrap her. Oh, she can join the fleet. She's got 300 men on her. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, my best ship has 200 men. That's just ridiculous. And uh, I can't repair. No, I need to click on the actual ship. Yeah, someone told me. Thank you very much. I can't remember for the life of me who told me it, but I have to actually click on my ships to repair it. I can't do it in any port. But um, can I get these bad, this bad boy in range of her? Actually, so I have to scrap the. No, there's no way I can do it. Let's see how many troops I actually have here. Not many. So yeah, we can take this with the army we're sending up. Let's give it a little bombard. Fucking destroy the financial district massively. Yeah, these boys can take it, especially with naval fire. Um, I'm sick and tired of these boys being on our land. We're going to have to fuck them up. Let's go and do it. Let's go get rid of them from our land. Yeah, look. Our men are just so much better. We're going to fight it because it'll be awesome to blow the shit into them. They actually have some nice parrot guns as well, but nowhere near as highly leveled as ours. It just make them so strong. It basically means every hit will, every shot will destroy them. And go to Senehira. I'm getting better with my pronunciation of Japanese names, I think. Yeah, go to Senehira. Um, just kind of gone back on what I said then because that was appalling. But yeah, he's doing he's doing well. He's he's <laughs> led my armies to victory several times and he's killed many a man. Um, well, not him personally, but his his army has killed many a man. I think he's actually undefeated. I think I haven't. I think I only lost like one battle in the entire campaign as well, which isn't bad on very hard. That is quite impressive. Well, the campaign, the campaign difficulties on hard, and the battle difficulties on very hard. So, I think that's. I think I've done quite well considering. That, yeah, I haven't lost a battle, or have I? I don't think I have. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you guys can remember. I doubt you guys can. Um, but I also um, wanted to ask you guys really quickly: uh, Would you guys like would be would you guys be interested in like a weekly vlog or something like that? Just me talking about um, what I have planned for the channel and stuff like that, and yeah, just talking about games and stuff. Um, sometimes it might be like a minute long, other times it might be like ten minutes long or something like that. 
but I think that'd be quite something quite interesting to um, actually do. So yeah, tell me in the comments below if you guys will be interested in watching one of them. And if you guys are, then I will do it. Oh, that's cool. We've got um, uh, pylons to one of our flanks here. Here, that is very cool. After the lag goes, thank you, lag. That is very cool. Telegraph electricity, but apparently this one's missing the electricity. Oh no. But nonetheless, that is very, very cool. So yeah, let's get our cannons up on this hill to wreak havoc. Yeah, they can unlimber and they can just blow blow a hole in the enemy. We need to get some cab in this army, really. We shall get our marines on this flank. The rest of the army can just sit here. I get my toaster rifle when they can be sent up to start causing a bit of damage. I'll get them on skirmish so they can. I'll get them, put them on light so they can actually do some damage. Like so, they'll take less casual. They'll take less casualties from the missiles. Or we're quite not just in range. They look like they have a lot of men. Like I have to be careful here because I could most certainly lose this. Because they have, still have a lot of men. Just my men are a lot, lot better. Here they come. They're moving to me. Thank God. Stick, stick, shrapnel shot on as well. That's going on cooldown straight away. So I learned from uh, a YouTuber. He, I was watching his video, and I can't Maliki, Maliki, yeah, that's the one. Just check him out. Just type that name into, into um, YouTube, and it should come up. He's uh, quite an awesome YouTuber. I've, w I've watched his Crusader Kings and stuff like that. So yeah, he's quite good. Just check him out. Oh, it just looks so cool. Turn, turn, turn. Ah. Cause havoc on this flank. It's just smoke and then death. We get one more volley into these sharpshooters. Hopefully, make them route. Oh, that's just terrific. That is just terrific. We'll get our um, Royal Marines up here just in case they get reasonably close. Our sharpshooters can start make going up a little bit. Oh, they've got the guns actually. I should probably watch out. I should probably uh, detach a few to actually kill them. How far back are they? Yeah, they're too far back for me. I'm going to retreat my flank. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to retreat my flank completely. And get more over here. To try and stay out, stay out of the range of their guns. As I just continue to pummel away. I think I can, I can take these parrot guns. I can switch them more to the front of the line, actually. Because these, I'll leave uh, these two guns, my Armstrong guns, still hitting away at the spear levy and these sharpshooters. They can stay on the sharpshooters just for a little bit. But now my riflemen are about to come here, which will be nice. I'll stick them on Neil far as well so they're ready. And yeah, I'm shifting my other line back. But it's just murder, look at it. <laughs> so much death, it looks so awesome. Let's get some nice clothes. Actually, yeah, I forgot we can go more first person. I didn't show you guys that. Uh, I haven't, well, I haven't. Oh, that's bad, I almost hit myself. As you can tell, I'm very bad with first person at the moment. I haven't, I haven't really had a go on it uh, too much. Oh, that was delicious! Ah, uh, so much death. And we'll have another one there. Put a spear levy behind them. Oh no, I must have moved it down a little bit. Stick it up a little bit and to the right. Come on, right there. Oh, we overshot it that time. See, as you can tell, I'm quite bad with them, but it's still super fast, and I can see them on my extreme right. Um, but. Oh, my British Marines actually got took a pounding there. Let's spin it around quickly. Their cab is coming at me. These, yeah, these need to volley them. My general will have to go in to actually save my men. Just be careful. And they need to carry on shooting them. Shit, I wasn't paying attention at all. But they've completely abandoned that, so I can come up now on this flank. And they should hopefully route soon because they're fighting, they're fighting my Royal Marines who can do very well in combat. I can stick these on Neil fire, as well. And I'll switch all my cannon fire to an, another full unit because they're not going to last long over here. We'll attack this line infantry there. I'll bring back my general. These boys are coming up now to outflank, which is lovely. Yeah, they can get up there. Not quite that far actually. I don't need to go up that far. And then I can stick them on Neil Fire as well. This rifleman's coming up to plug the gap. Yeah, but now it's just murder. Look at it. Look at it, even. 
stick them all on the all fire. Uh, do that, which means all these lads around here have a quicker reloading speed. My cannons have to be careful now. They start hitting back here at our general. Oh, that's what we need to be careful here. It's just some crossfire, probably. Be careful, be careful, man. Here we go, we got another volley off into them. That should damage them enough to make them dead. Oh, look at these lines when they hit my muskets. It's just appalling. Be sad. Take down the Sabre Cav, men! Come on, volley it, volley it. Oh, so cool. <laughs> They're all dead. I'm actually in love with this game still. It's been like two weeks, so the honeymoon period has gone. But yeah, it's still this awesome. And my general's taking a lot of crossfire, actually. I should probably... Actually, there's no need now. Yeah. That was very easy. I can't really chase them down. I guess I can with my generals, so I'll bring it back to you guys uh, when I have click killed everyone with my with my generals. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. So as you guys can see, we absolutely annihilated that army. We lost 222 men and they lost 2,700. So I think that was most certainly a fair exchange. I also want to use my agent just to level him up a little bit and get him to challenge their leader in single combat and actually kill him. I'm sure he will. Uh, yeah, he killed the enemy, which is very nice. I wonder what he can do to this city as well. We'll see next turn. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and finish off this army auto-resolved style. Oh, they're backing off. But yeah, we'll take that out. We'll, then we'll hit this city. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was summoned to the house of Elrond quickly to see uh, deal with a matter about a ring or some, some, some something like that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, we'll take this and we'll bump our way up to this. Oh, that's our allies. And then I guess we'll go across here and just sweep across from here because then we'd only have we'll only have one theatre of war, sort of like one facing. It'll it'll be through this little gap because our ally holds this, so it'll be a nice little push across, and that should get us quite a bit of land, which will be awesome. And we also have these riflemen moving their way up. I was going to move my navy back, wasn't I? Do they not have any movement? Oh no, they don't. Oh well, I'll pick them up on my HMS warrior uh, next turn. Uh, she can go here. Actually, it'll be quicker if she goes here. Uh, she, has, she has to go to a port, doesn't she, to pick them up? What's the closest port he, these guns can get to? Probably these. Yeah, it'll probably be this port. Um, yeah, otherwise it'll take a while. Uh, industry wise, what are we researching? Revolver Cavar. These things are so OP. It actually hurts a little. I was watching stuff. They're just they're, they're dual wielding revolvers, just going to town like blowing the hell into anything they see. So um, they'll be a nice addition to my armies, even though I don't really need anything because that army's just massive. But I think the only trouble will be when we actually do turn into the republic. Um, when we do turn republic, it will be what we'll be at war with everyone. So it'll just be so hard. Um, or to resolve this as. We don't need to fight it at all. We lost two men and captured a piece of artillery. How lovely. That just adds even more artillery to our to our ranks. So yeah, that's six units of artillery that we now have. It just makes us impossible to kill. We can literally slaughter anything before it even gets to us. And they're on their last legs. Yeah, if I was them, I would be asking for a... Oh, they actually have a reasonably sized army. Or is that my ally? Oh, you sons of bitches. I really wanted to take that. Oh no, it's still them. Mission failed. No, oh, well. Yeah, I'm rest. Enemy winter. Oh yeah, people are pissed in winter now, aren't they? They always are. It's going to take forever to get these guns back. It'll probably be quicker if I send them here. Yeah, I'll take them two turns. I'll take these a few more turns, yeah. There's only one unit of Red Bear, which I'll actually stick there to keep them happy. Um, the HMS Warrior can make its way up here. Oh, hello. I see you. I see you indeed. Ship, which is called of the Obama. I will come get you. Um, I might upgrade that school because it'll give me a few more troops. They're just looking scary. Really. They just have a random army still there. I'll repair these fields, even though it cost me a lot of money. But I'm rolling in the dosh, so it's all good. And we shall make our move on this city. Hopefully we can bombard their army. Yeah, we can. Lovely. And we kill so many people with it now. We just have so many troops. So yeah, we'll move in this army, even though we'll take a bit of attrition. It will be fine. Um, I'm sure we will deal with it. So yeah, we'll bang out this settlement and then just work our way up. Take these two. 
and then go across all these three, depending on how big uh, the armies are. Also, bringing through, uh, uh, we're bringing through some more troops as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> we should have probably have dealt with this. Oh, uh, let's get some troops here ASAP. Get some nice riflemen there just to chill. Um, yeah, that's all good. HMS warriors going, and yeah, everything's good at home. How's everyone else holding up? Uh, yeah, that's gonna revolt. Well, I just kill the revolt, which is fine. Uh, these places aren't the best happiness level, but that is fine. Uh, I'm sure there's something we can buy in here, which will increase the happiness at all. And um, I guess we'll just upgrade this to increase oppression in the city. It costs me a lot of money, but it it will make the oppression extremely fucking high, and it'll pretty much make them well not impossible to revolt, but it'll make them very unlikely to, as the the oppression level is very very high so that'll be uh, nice to have that there just guard my back um, so yeah that should be awesome oh their ships are just there just taunting me to come get them with my HMS warrior and when I get them I'm going to absolutely annihilate them with my fucking 62 guns but someone did say in another video I have to be wary it's not indestructible and it can be sunk by um, it can be sunk by uh, torpedo ships so I need to be extremely careful with them. But, yeah, you ain't getting away, boy. There's no way you're getting away. So, yeah, let's fight this. They don't stand a chance. Even though they do have a 14-gun ship. But, uh, Gareth Rose will defeat Kami Mikiari. Oh, I just failed then. I apologise. I'm going to go cut myself a little bit. I'm going to cut out the loads of loading screen value just because it's a bit annoying. And I won't make you guys watch it. So, I'll see you guys in a second. We have a nice little eye. Okay guys, so we're back in. There's a, ni uh, a nice little snowy map. What does it do? Units take longer to recover from fatigue. Let's wait. Maybe we can outlast the snow. Uh, there we go, dry. We'll do it one more time just for the sake of it. Oh, back in snow. Oh, sad times. Maybe we'll see some icebergs. Oh, I'd laugh my ship got sunk by an iceberg. Oh, look at her. She is beautiful. Look at our men lined up. She just looked very, very nice. Oh, that is just one awesome ship. And let's have a look at our island quickly. It'd be nice if we could have like a battery on this island. That'd be quite cool. And it's quite cool that because it's by the city, you can see it, um, which is quite cool. It'd be nice if you had some batteries on the map, but that is cool. So yeah, let's start advancing. We will. Uh, actually, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, he's gonna speak over me, the dick. And um, I don't want to go um, overheat my engines just in case. Because I don't want to have any chance that this ship will not last. It's volley the guns. That is just ridiculous, the amount of fire. So many cannons. And we'll do it again. <laughs> so much. <laughs> so much damage. It's going to literally destroy the ship in half. It looks like you have more... Yeah, someone mentioned this in my last video, that the more guns you shoot, it doubles the amount of cannons you have. Oh, maybe it's just me. I'm not sure. Oh, well. Nonetheless, that is awesome. We'll stick on exploding rounds as well. I should have done that before to stick it already on cooldown. Uh, as a base read... Oh, the cannons... It's, the uh, cannon shots actually take longer with explosive shells. It takes 15 seconds to reload. Whereas, just with solid shell, uh, shell it takes a lot less. Uh, what's their range? Let's have a look. It's not going to tell me. I'm not sure why it won't tell me. Uh, what's it on game settings? It is. Ah, uh, no, it won't. I don't think it will tell me. Battle interface, maybe? Yeah, always. So, it's just that being a bit annoying. It's annoying. I can't see its stats, but oh well, nonetheless. It's quite cool. That's uh, quite cool that the uh, North East South West is actually in Japanese. I, I guess it's Japanese. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, look at this beauty go. Oh, she is the pride of my navy. I wonder if I should just have an entire navy of her. She just looked very cool. Just ride her. Getting ready to let them eat cake, as Marion Antoinette would say. It's annoying, though. I should have left it on dry. That would have been so much better. I was hoping to have some sort of icebergs or something like that. Is, is he going to volley back, or...? If this seems to be the expectable volley range. Yeah, they can volley us, so why can't we volley them? This is not fair.
<laughs> I don't want them to be hitting me. I know it's not going to be doing much damage, but still, it's still doing damage. Come on, get in range. You need to be... Because I don't want to be... I'm taking damage, and I don't want to have to repair this ship. Where is it? There it is. Let's fucking volley back on it. Yeah, we seem to be hitting it. Let's tell it to um, auto attack. Yeah, here we go. We're starting to hit it now. Here we go. Let's slow it down as we destroy the ship. Oh, there's already some dead here. Oh, it's wood. They volley us. Come on, volley back. Why is she not volleying back? Come on. Reload your guns. Why is she not shooting? She's there we go. It's just obviously taken a while. Oh my god, two ships and I mean two shots and it's fucked it. Basically, that was lovely. Come on, I want to see a nice explosion. Speed up a little bit. Here we go. It's in range now. Yeah, the ship's sinking. We win. I took too much damage though. That was a bit annoying. Whoa, that leveled up to five. Rule Britannia! That is quite cool. It's a nice achievement as well. Oh, I don't want to save it. That would be foolish. But yeah, that's, that's quite strong. I was just stupid with it. I'm not very good at naval battles. I'm, I am online. I just obviously not on the campaign. I guess I'm not really keening it out when I'm on the campaign. But yeah, I'll skip out the loading, sc uh, loading screen again because it's just annoying. So obviously that ship didn't stand a chance against my my beaut of the sea. And we'll kill this ship next time as well. Uh, we'll make sure we cause this ship some pain as well. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, these, by the time they're back, uh, these Armstrong guns should be in port. Um, yeah, they should be in port, nice and ready. And these black, oh, these red bears even, shall go in here to help make them a little bit happier. Yeah, they're a bit happier, um, which is nice. We might have to build, what am I looking to build? Um, I can't, don't actually have enough to increase it to a star fort. But it just makes them more, ha more or makes them less happy. Which is something we don't want to happen. Can we upgrade something to a gambling den? Uh, that makes everyone a lot happier. But we don't really need that. I think this is giving me lots of money. That's nice. Uh, we'll throw this army up into here. Which is nice. Can they move anymore? They can. So let's take it. Um, oh, they've got another army there as well. Another Obama army. But, um, my odds of winning aren't actually that great. But nonetheless, we shall let them eat cake. I don't know why I keep on saying that. I've just gone mad with power. Cannon power. But yeah, oh, this is quite a nice fort, actually. Our cannons shall uh, reduce it to dirt, which will be nice. Oh, I just got a text, I'm so popular. I will reply to that, so take this silence as a break from me. Oh, I'll just text him the ladies. Got to reply to them quickly. So yeah, I was just looking at this map. We can get our cannons. There's no real place we can get our cannons. That doesn't really matter. They can shoot shoot over um, obstacles quite nicely. So there's no real need to stick them on a hill. There's actually a hill around about here which we can use. But apart from that, that should be fine. Maybe get them back here, but it's quite far away. Um, it's quite strong. It's got a nice moat, which will be quite annoying to get up because they've got a lot of riflemen. A lo lot of riflemen? A lot of riflemen. So that's going to cause me a lot of casualties. We don't really want to fight in the snow because we're going to be going to them. So, fog reduces the difficulty. All ship missiles. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want the snow, though. We just want it clear. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks greatly. I'm not sure what I would have rather wanted, actually. I guess this is only fatigue. So that's not that bad. Oh, they only have archery towers as well, which isn't too bad. Our Royal Marines can go there. The main bulk of my rifle corps can go there. These guys can go and outrange the Nubasauruses uh, here. They're so strong now. If you look at their reloading skill, it's 83. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's better than Royal Marines at, because they're such obviously such a high rank. And our cannons can chill on this flank with our Royal Marines. So they're nice and protected. Uh, let's see, what's their range like? Maybe shoot the entire castle? Not the entire castle, but the majority of it. The men are ready to attack, sir. So let's start giving them hell. 
and we got three artillery bombardments. That is awesome. We actually get an extra one now. That is very, very nice. We're going to absolutely destroy this city. And already, oh my god, that is a massacre. Already, just the amount of cannon shots. No, we didn't actually kill that many. I was about to say, I don't know we didn't kill too many men, but we did. We really did. We might, actually, we might even see them actually advancing out. Who knows? Let's move our riflemen a little bit closer on this flank. Up to the uh, river, at least. They can move up there. Oh, it's, it just looks so cool. It's just so many cannons. I'm, gonna sure, I'm sure this will look very cool as they all fire. Oh, that looks very cool. The French Marines, sir, are awesome. Kill everything. Yeah, I know. I know. And congratulations on being in a video. video. But yeah, the French Marines are so good. I'm glad he mentioned that. Because, yeah, they're so strong. I've had them before um, in the campaign. On another campaign I'm doing. And they're just so, so deadly. Yeah, look at... Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. The amount of damage. Okay, I was getting a little bit annoying. Not his fault. He doesn't know I'm recording. But I shall go ahead and uh, turn off my Steam and reply to him when I'm finished. Um, so yeah, let's go turn off Steam and then I'll obviously reply to him when I've finished. But yeah, that damage is just insane. Really is deadly. Oh, so much damage. It looks so cool as well. I, I'm not really, I'm choosing not to advance at all because I'm waiting for my. Um, I'm waiting for my artillery bombardments to come from my navy. I'll move them up a little bit though, and I'll move up my toaster riflemen just the tiniest bit. Well, not the tiniest bit, actually quite far. But still, I'll allow these bad boys just to go to town. Everything is just on fire. We'll start hitting. I guess we should probably kill their cannons, even though they're not using them, which I, which is very shocking. As far as they might be using them, a faux show. We've got some spearmen here, which we we can leave to the last really. And we're not going to really be hitting these, so we might as well hit this rifleman, which is actually quite strong in infantry, so it's very strong. Uh, we'll stick it on the area, because we have a lot of cannons now. And we'll just stick it up here. That should cover the entirety of the fortress. So that is very nice. We've got our Royal Marines up here. We'll, make, we'll keep on advancing them slowly, so they don't get uh, struck and by fatigue at all. And they're actually almost leveled all. Well, these two have almost leveled. Well, one of them has almost leveled. And the artillery bombardment should come in very soon. It should cover this entire area, which will be very nice to happen. Well, it will be very nice when it hits, and it should be a lot of cannons as well. Here, no, is it? There we go. It's just everywhere. <laughs> it's just so much. So many shots. That's ridiculous. I know it didn't really hit much because it's on area, but it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> Yeah, that did. It's doing so much damage. I wonder how many shells it is. Does it tell me? Shells per volley, forty-eight. That is just ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I want to read. Really, can we not hit these? I want to hit these. Then can we not hit these either? Why not? I guess because of the. Whoa, that was very dangerous. Oh, but there's these which was causing that. Can we not advance? Can we. Oh, we can only advance through here by the looks of it. It gets to a point where we can't anymore. So we'll get our riflemen uh, just about in range. <laughs> the cannon fire is just awesome. And we'll get our toast marines on the case. We'll try and avoid any incoming volleys. Because obviously we don't want to receive any damage from them. But yeah, get these bad boys to form up. Oh, the Royal Marines look so cool. And the reason I'm trying to just not I'd take the city now is because I don't want to take many casualties. I want to really just have make sure I have my army nice and strong so I can just steamroll their entire their entire armies basically. Because I don't I don't want to lose my men in a reckless attack. Can we not volley them yet? A little bit forward, a little bit further forward then I guess. And another one. Let's have a focus one this time. Just see the damage that it will cause. Let's do it. Just do it there. And we'll move up a type. They should be actually start being able to volley now against this. What's left of this rifleman? I don't want to get them any closer. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. So these boys can start shooting away and doing probably doing quite a bit of damage. I wonder how many men they're killing a volley. Let's have a look. 
can't wait till my next volley comes in. Here we go. They're killing a lot of men per volley. They're killing about 10, 15 men per volley, and these guys are behind cover. Ooh, here we come, here it comes. <laughs> this is just horrible. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And that unit is routing back, which is fun, lovely. I mean, what do they even have left? Which is, I guess they have quite a few troops actually over here, which is clever of them. I might limber up my cannons now and advance the infantry. We'll try hit the spear levy a bit more, and then we shall leave it out. We'll move across our main bulk of our infantry. Can we get across here? We can get across here, which is nice. Uh, yeah, we shall actually start advancing up, which means we should probably focus on killing this tower. It's a really reduce the amount of damage we're taking from men. Uh, we'll do kill zone, make some more accurate. I'm not sure why I'm not doing that in the first place. Uh, we'll do kill zone with these as well. I'm not quite sure why I'm not doing that. Ow, the chat looked like it hurt a bit. Good, good. That was pretty much a volley. Uh, I mean, even a shot which did that damage. I can't really hit that tower, which is fine. But I can hit these bad boys, so we'll hit them. And have I destroyed all the gates as well? Or on earth I have? I mean, we get, yeah, all the gates are destroyed, so that's fine. And our riflemen are moving up. We shall also move across our Royal Marines. They shall come up along here. They shall get ready to climb. Whilst what remains left, we really need to be hitting the Saver Cab because the Saver Cab will be doing, I guess, and these boys as well. We need to get rid of them. Um, oh, but they might be coming into range of my rifles. Yeah, my cannons are starting to run out of ammo, but we still have another, another artillery strike, which I'll try and hit uh, this unit in. And I guess all of this, actually, it's in range of everything. But yeah, my cannons are just destroying all their Saver Cab. It's annoying the Armstrong guns don't have more ammo, actually. Oh well, when the 48 shells, that's not even with a warrior class in it, but I have a warrior class in the um, arsenal of my of my navy, it just do so much damage. Yeah, here it comes, it's coming down now, is it? At any second now it should hit the ground. And when it does, I feel very sorry for anyone. Shit, my rifle, I'm going to get caught. Actually, no, we're absolutely fine. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it is doing it is doing a lot of damage one would argue. Oh we're actually starting to get up though, which will be a bit annoying. We have to really rush it. And just get up there straight away. And I guess do the same over here. Actually I can run right through, so we don't really even need to worry about that. These these two can climb by just for the sake of it to get them up nice and quickly. And so can these. The red bear can get up there. My rifleman are climbing, which is nice. Is everyone out of ammo? I've actually got a fully, uh, fully shogun infantry there, which isn't nice. Isn't nice at all. Yeah, they're all out of ammo. We we'll throw my general up there, get him a little bit up. My riflemen are getting up here, but yeah, they've actually still got quite a few troops left. But my men are quite strong in melee. Yeah, they got 18 melee, whereas their men. Oh, it's annoying it doesn't tell me. It used to tell me, I swear. Oh, well, we got some riflemen coming up here to go ahead and support. I'll send one unit to get on the flanks. Actually, no, their Sabre Cab is coming at me. Oh, well, I'm sure there's not many Sabre Cab left, which is absolutely fine. Actually, yeah, they are. Um, actually, we'll use this just to carry on climbing up, and we'll use uh, this rifleman squad to get up on the flank, Garunis, and outflank them and start pounding away at the men here. Actually, that's, that can be these, uh, these men job. These men, these men can do that. They can get on the flanks of them. Actually, let's get them back a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get caught. But yeah, my men are gonna start taking a bit of a pounding here. But yeah, these Royal Marines, if I stick them on the fire, they're gonna cause the enemy some hurt. For sure, stick them on the fire as well and just get them to start volleying in. Come on, boys, form up. Oh, there's a glitch. They don't. I thought they would just stop, but clearly not. Let's get them nice and formed up. They're not all. Oh, still quite a few actually, kind of still coming up. But they're still forming up nonetheless. Yeah, we're getting up there, which is nice. Let's start volleying into their sides. There we go. Oh, look how many just fell. That is ridiculous. 
So we're chasing down, boys. Chase them down. Stop volleying them back. Because we'll be doing a lot more damage if we actually volley. Are they not going to volley? Otherwise, I'm just have to charge. Charge them. <laughs> they're just shooting. Oh, they're actually having a missile off of that, that unit. Can these men get up here? Yeah, just if these, these boys run up through the fiery gates, that'd be nice as well. We can get them uh, bad boys up there. We'll climb up here. And we can continue just have a volley off with these boys. Their men are just running now, which is nice. How is our general doing? Oh, we've got a total rifleman, which can start pinning down the routing troops. Get them some... Oh, these Royal Marines really did take a beating. All my Royal Marines are taking a beating. And their general is fighting to the death, which is honourable. I'll give him that. And our other Royal Marine unit is uh, fighting with them. But yeah, now the enemy, enemy general is dead. They're not going to last long. They haven't even got anything left, to be honest. Let's quickly just take the city centre and end it. But these men are still causing a bit of a hassle. We've lost quite a few men here. They do look pretty cool. That looks so awesome. But the amount of cannon fire which was coming in here, I don't think anyone wants to really face us in a in a battle anymore. I think I would be fucking scared if I had to come up against someone who uses this many cannons. Well, I guess in like Napoleonic times, they used something like in each battery there was like 150 cannons or something which is just an insane amount but I guess it's it's to scale because you think I have what about 2,000 men here they have a lot more men in their armies so I guess it, it I guess it's kind of to scale and obviously these cannons are a lot a lot better <laughs> like in, they're a lot accurate and they actually hit a lot more often than anyone else like in proper cannons in real life did at this time in the period well I guess not I guess they were probably quite good actually by this period because what it's 1860s, 18, almost 1890s probably, I'm not 100% sure, but it's still very late. Um, yeah, it's still extremely late. We'll finish off this unit quickly, we'll actually win it, win it for us. We'll reform our Royal Marines as well, so they look nice and pretty. Reform them over the dead bodies. Oh, quite a few of them actually died falling off. <laughs> Oh, as I said it in the previous video, it'd be cooler if uh, when you blow up a wall it was more flatter so they could actually run up through the walls um, instead of having to climb. I think that'd be quite cool. But yeah, they do look pretty badass. And these riflemen are cleaning up the rest of these boys. Why have they got so I guess they got sabers. They still should have bayonets though. And yeah, <laughs> we'll end the battle now. But yeah, we absolutely slaughtered them. No escape from the Tosa cannons. But yeah, I'll go ahead and pause it, skip out the loading screen for you guys, because obviously it is very boring. Yeah, as you can see, we absolutely destroyed them some more. We took quite a few casualties this time, and we actually lost 400 men, which wasn't wasn't a great um, situation, but still. We've now taken the city. Um, at, oh, 22 grand, that'd be so nice, even though we don't need money, so let's peacefully occupy that. Our general will increase in rank as well. The city is quite wealthy. What does it have? One of these, a financial district. Yeah, that's going to be giving them quite a bit of money. Um... And a tea plant as well. I wonder how much tea sells for. Um, I'm sure it sells for quite a bit, actually. Tea, 32. Yeah, no wonder. We need to get some... We export copper, actually, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I think we might export clay. Um, let's have a look. We have some clay mines, I think, around here. Uh, where is it? Nothing there. I think it's a clay mine over here. Yeah, a copper mine, actually. So we're getting a lot of money through that. We need uh, mechanics, really. Or sell some coal. Coal's um, very, very expensive at the moment. But yeah, we're selling tea. That's still giving us quite a bit. But I'm exporting 100% of it and 100% of that. And we're importing the rest and 100% silk. <laughs> that is quite nice. Income from unsold resources, zero. Oh well, that is cool. And the Obama is now taking attrition. I will level up my general and I'll probably go ahead and end this episode. It's been quite a long episode. What can we get? 10% uh, of the research. We don't really need to reduce the fear. So we'll go ahead and click the research. And... 20. Yeah, we'll do that. Could we like to attack. And yeah, we'll do that again. That is all very, very, very nice. Because, um, yeah, we don't... We always attack. We never really defend. I guess we'll attack. We'll probably defend from this army. But apart from that, we don't really ever defend so that is all good and it, it can yeah i'll just wait for all my men to retrain and then we shall go
we shall go out to them. Um, we'll probably push up through here, take these settlements, and then just carry on going. Really, I think that'd be the plan. And my HMS Warrior, wherever she lay, is in wait. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and. and end the episode which you get revolver cabin two times as well but yeah i'll go ahead and end the episode now um thank you guys for watching it means so much uh, please i will there'll be no content probably the next week um as obviously i'll be out of the country so it'll be very hard to um upload but yeah as i was saying uh please tell me if you want to see a weekly vlog from me um because i think that'd be quite fun and be something quite cool to get into um also yeah no content for a week and just yeah just keep on subscribing keep on commenting keep on giving me a like it's really awesome your guys support so i'll thank you again uh thank you very much and they have a lot of troops but nonetheless we shall deal with them eventually so yeah i'll see you guys next time fish out